Alrighty, what is going on everybody? I hope you're all doing okay. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. And of course, if you're new to the channel, then I'd like to say hello and welcome to my channel. So, as you can see today, we're in Stormwind on our way to the Stockades. Before we go any further, of course, if you haven't already, I'd like to recommend you check out the last video in this video series where I take on Shadowfang Keep. And obviously, if you like the look of that video, then you can find a card to the video in the upper right hand corner of the portion of the screen right now so anyway stockades let's get into it let's explain a little bit about it first so the way I'm doing it in this video guide is basically I'll do the whole instance in three straightforward simple pulls this can get a little bit tricky depending upon how you do it and how the mobs are laid out you see it's not the best instance in the world for me to be doing this kind of thing just because of the fact the way it's laid out it's not really friendly for people like me and you who are going to be doing this sort of thing of course what I mean by that is unlike places like say Scarlet Monastery where there's quite a few places that you can jump down and stuff and get off a quick heal this place you, you literally have to run through the whole thing so that's the only reason why it's done into three pools so anyway to do an entire run of this dungeon you're looking about 10 minutes per run it's not hugely difficult because as you can see today we're on our own again um obviously let me just show you guys my equipment as well tire 2 helmet choker of the fire lord lowerbringer shoulders sprite caster cape demon forge breastplate gallant's wrist guards qual sarah school flame shield briar wood reed paladin book reward from dire mall nagel ring, Songstone of Ironforge, Lordbringer Boots, Lordbringer Legs, Belt of the Ordained and Dracorian Gauntlets. And obviously as you can see I've got 31 points in Holy, 13 points in Protection and 7 in Retribution. So unlike the last video where I switched shield all the time we're not going to be doing that today. Now the reason behind this is obviously because these mobs are quite a bit higher level than Shadowfang Keep um, so they've got a lot more HP so they won't really die. Plus in terms of the actual pull it's not that big, so you know, you don't really have to travel very far. Okay, so before we begin, let's talk about buffs. Um, what I'm going to be doing today is I'm not going to be using Retri Aura straight away. We're going to be switching down to Devotion Aura first. Um, we're going to throw ourselves a uh, Blessing of Wisdom. I've also got a food buff for stamina, so we'll use that now. Now, also, what happened um, earlier on was I picked up a scroll of protection, so we'll use that as well. Uh, also, don't forget to use Divine Favor. So, yeah, let's begin, shall we? So, firstly, I like to try and skip these... Well, try to avoid those guys if I can, but yeah, don't matter so much. So, yeah, we'll, we'll go into one of the rooms here, and then we'll start out by grabbing all of the mobs. Um, also guys be very careful um, when you do this because some of them do stun you just like that so yeah we'll, we'll grab this one here we'll go in here we'll get the boss run down to here Get you. We'll throw ourselves a quick holy shot. Come in here, grab this guy. Okay, we're getting close for the bubble now. Let's get this guy. Pop bubble. Heal ourselves. Use judgment. Reseal, drop down Consecration, and change to Retribution Aura. So yeah guys, that's pool number one, or at least it will be when these, these people are dead. 
yeah there we go right so if you've enjoyed that so far guys don't forget to, to give the video a thumbs up right so we'll just loot everybody up here now So we'll just get our mana up quickly and then get ready for the second pull. <clears throat> Alright, here we go. Make sure you change back to Devotion Aura as well. So we'll use Seal of Light and we'll tag these mobs here. Don't forget there's a chest there as well guys. Now usually there's about two chests um, Per run in this instance as well and most of the time they're actually always unlocked as well so don't forget about that so we'll go over here we'll get this guy <coughs> we'll get this one Go straight over the road into this room here. Grab this one. Now I'm pretty sure this is probably the most dangerous pull um, in the instance because of all the knockbacks that happen. Um, so yeah, all right, we'll throw ourselves a holy shot if we can. Or not, we'll just have to bubble. So we use bubble right now. Heal ourselves. Drop that in consecration. Change over to retribution aura. And what we'll do, we'll use a uh, oil of immolation as well. If we can. There we go. Right. <coughs> nice and easy. So yeah guys, that's pull number two. And as always, let's loot everybody up. Oh. I wonder why he reset. That's weird. Alright, let's just kill him as well then. That's really unusual, that's never happened before. Not sure why that happened. But it's no worries. It's gonna die soon anyway. There we go. Right. Okay. Now let's get down to the final pool, shall we? Let's see if we can find that chest as well, wherever it was. Oh, it's locked. Never mind. Ah, there's another one that's reset as well for some reason. That's really weird, guys. Unless, of course, we missed him. There's that possibility as well. But it doesn't really matter. Right, so, on the final bit now, let's just uh, give ourselves another blessing of wisdom, divine favour and uh, drink up for mana. Right, he's going to aggro us in a second, don't really matter. Right, let's go.
if you get a room there. <laughs> Alright, so we'll get this one. Throw ourselves a holy shock. There's another chest there, as you can see. Go down here. Getting ready for the bubble now, guys. Bubble, heal ourselves. Right, let's grab the boss and then we'll uh, we'll drop down consecration. Nice and easy, guys. these off. There we go. Nice and easy. Boom. So there we go guys. That's uh, stockades done in under 10 minutes and three nice easy pulls. So let's loot everybody up. And of course, not forgetting the chest, which is locked again. That's unfortunate, but never mind. Okay, let's go to the vendor, shall we? Okay, so guys, here we are at the vendor. Okay guys, so here we are at the vendor. Now, the great thing about this is, obviously, if you're an Alliance player, then obviously it's right in the center of Stormwind, so you've got instant access to all of your vendors and all of the auction house and your mailbox and everything right here, which is very convenient. Let's take a look at what loot we've gained and how much gold we've made. As you can see, um, I forgot to mention at the start of the video, but obviously if you want to look at that, you can just rewind it quickly. Um, but if you do remember we started off at 321 gold so straight away we've already gained two gold just from the money we picked up now obviously this is everything just off of a single run um, for the video purposes what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell absolutely everything regardless of the value so you know e even though that's worth like a gold uh, sorry 50 silver and you know that's worth for gold as well w what we'll do is we'll just sell everything regardless um, so yeah let's get to it shall we Okay, so there we are, 325 gold. So that straight away is a four gold increase just from that. Now obviously, take into account we've got a repair bill as well, which is uh, 58 silver, so we'll just take that away now. And we're just over still 325 gold, which is nice. So for that particular run, we, we've made about three and a half gold to four gold. So with that in mind, obviously with the time limit being about 10 minutes per run, we, we can safely say that we can get about three gold per run if we sell absolutely everything. And also it doesn't stop there. Like I say, th the main purpose of these videos is to show you guaranteed gold that you get just from vendor and absolutely everything. But as you can see here, if you look at my bags, this is what I've accumulated over the course of just three runs. So obviously based on the time limit of about 10 minutes a run this is just half an hour's worth of work so let, let's take a look at what we got here we've got about eight stacks of wool cloth here we won't really count this or, or that one there we'll, we'll just say eight stacks and um, we've also got four stacks of linen cloth and we've got a stack of silk cloth we've also got all of these nice green items here that are going on the auction house as well obviously we, we picked up the blue earlier but like the last video in um, shadow fan keep we, we won't really include that because that's just like a a rare occurrence really um, but th this is more common obviously you get loads of loot like this um, now when it comes to green specifically what I've done is I've only picked out the certain ones that I think will sell but also according to TSM I've got a decent selling price so the way I like to do it is really sort of put my shoes in, in the person that's buying it so I, I, I look at the item and I think if I had a character that could use this would I want to buy it 
And if the answer is yes, then obviously I'll keep it and I'll sell it for the auction house. Because obviously, as you know, the auction house isn't guaranteed gold at the end of the day. So you're better off going up on the mindset of how I've just explained. You know, if you would personally buy this item, then there's a high likely chance that someone else is probably thinking the same way. So anyway, guys, let's break this down just to give us a good estimate of how much we can actually make from this. So as you can see for the the uh, the wool cloth for a stack we're looking about 20 silver now i know it says there 24 but we're not going to do that we're just going to round down for this just to keep things simple so you're looking about 20 silver a stack of that um for the linen cloth you're looking about 10 silver for a stack and for the silk you're looking about 40 silver for a stack now what i've done is i've just done some quick maths here so for all of the eight stacks of wool cloth that i've got we're looking about one gold for that now as for the four stacks of linen we're looking about 40 silver for that and of course the uh the stack of silk is 40 silver so roughly adding it all up together we're looking about two gold just from all of the cloth that we made and remember that's only three runs so if we go by hourly rates we're going to double that also another good thing about cloth is it does sell all the time. It's very easy to sell cloth, unlike the greens. Um, so yeah, that, that's a definite plus to that. Now going to the greens, we, we've got a gold there. We've got another gold there. I know that says 18 gold on my server, but you probably won't sell it. It's more looking realistically at the bottom one where it says a gold. Um, so we've got just under a gold there. Got another gold there. Uh, I know it says two gold there, but we'll just count everything on here as one gold. Uh, we've got another gold there. These two together is a gold. We've got another gold there. These two are gold each. This is, uh, we'll say one gold 50 for three of them. Uh, we've got 30 silver there. And, and we've got a bag there that's worth... Uh, we'll say 50 silver so for all of this all of the greens we're, we're looking about 14 gold in total there um so combining the the, uh, the price of the cloth plus all of the greens that we got we're, we're looking about 15 gold in total just from the auction house stuff now obviously keep in mind that um for the three runs that we have done we've we've made approximately nine gold obviously excluding the repair bill so Let's just put it all together and say we've made rounded up to about 25 gold for half an hour's worth of work. So obviously doubling that, going to the hourly rate, we're looking about 50 gold an hour just from stockade. This isn't a guaranteed 50 gold an hour. This is obviously if you manage to sell all of the items on the auction house. But, you know, like, like I say, if you use a bit of common sense and you put yourself in the position of the buyer, you're going to have a higher chance at selling something. Also, like I say, the cloth definitely sells 100% because everybody needs it for first aid and tailoring and whatever. So there's always going to be a market for the cloths. So yeah, guys, potentially going up to 50 gold an hour for stockade. Um, obviously, you're looking about 20 gold an hour if you literally just vendor everything, but that's okay. You know, it's down to you and your preference at the end of the day on what you want to do. So yeah, that's the end of the video for today, guys. Now, before we finish things up, let me just say... If you are wondering what video is going to come out next, let's take a look, shall we? So, going by this, uh, we've done Rage Fire Chasm, Wailing Caverns, Dead Mines. We've also done Shadow Fan Keep, that was the last video. Obviously, today we've done Stockade, so next on the list is Black Fathom Deeps. So, if you're looking forward to that, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel and be sure to hit the bell icon to be notified when I release new videos. That way, when I do bring it out, you'll be the first to be notified. Also, if you enjoyed today's video, then show some support by giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends. Well, until the next time, see ya.